Hello, my name is Chris. In this video, I will cover how power systems work in StarMade so you can power your ships and space stations. Every ship, space station, planet outpost, and asteroid base will require power for something. Weapons, shields, thrusters, they all need power, and so it is one of the most important resources on any structure. Power is generated with the Power Reactor Module. When placed on an entity, they will generate power. The more you place, the more is generated. The power reactor I placed on this ship is providing power to the entire structure. There is no range limit with power. Power will also be supplied to docked entities, something we will discuss more in future tutorial videos. While flying a ship, you will see power represented by a blue bar to the right of your HUD. You can also check your power stats by entering build mode. Power systems are some of the few systems that perform better when built in specific formations. The easiest way to explain it is as follows. The more power reactors that are in a single grouping, the better the power generation will be. Power reactors provide the best efficiency when each block expands the group's dimensions. If blocks that are placed do not expand the group's dimensions, then it will not be as efficient. A single power reactor will provide 140 energy per second, Use them to fill any empty spaces in your structure if you need more power. It should be noted that power generation has a soft cap. Once you reach millions of power regen, you will lose the bonus to efficiency you gained by building your reactors properly. Ship cores and space stations have a limited power capacity of 50,000 energy. Asteroids and planets have an initial capacity of 500. To hold more power, you will need to place power capacitors. Power capacitors have special rules for attaining maximum efficiency as well. Simply put, place as many of them as you can in a single grouping. The larger the group, the more efficiently they will store power in the given volume. As mentioned, various systems in StarMade drain power. Some drain power constantly at a set rate. Others drain power when activated or when charging up. If you do not have sufficient power on your structures or spaceships, you will see visual cues on screen letting you know. When you start the game, your player character will have a power supply tool in your inventory. Use this to power things like factories when you are getting started. Lastly, there are support tools and effect modules that can supply or drain power on your spaceships. We will take a closer look at these systems in a separate video. With this knowledge, you may now design some more efficient power systems on your ships and stations. My name is Chris, and as always, thanks for playing StarMade. 